Yes, that's not what I call a very good conversation. Hello, Phyllis. Oh, Mother. Oh, my, you look wonderful. Well, I've had a pain in my side for a week. Terrible pain. Well, have you seen a doctor? No, not yet, huh? I may go next week. I miss Baxter. Boy, what a snazzy dress. Snazzy. Well, thank you, Myrtle. <laughs> Mother, this is Hazel. Oh, yes. Oh, when George and Phyllis were growing up, we had a cook called Myrtle and I... Hi, was... Grandma! Well, there's my little angel. Guess what? Our turkey weighs 24 pounds and I'm going to have a leg. Good for you. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Mother Baxter. Thank you, Dorothy. You too. <laughs> now, there must be something around here that I can do to help. Oh, no, and you I... come right in and you sit down. Oh, but I'd like to help, really. Ah, Mother, no work for you. You're a guest. Now, come on and join the others. Come on. Mr. B. Yes, Hazel? If your mother wants to help me, it's okay. Well, that's very nice of you, Hazel. Very generous. Well, I'd, I'd be glad to have her. But my mother's not going to be working in the kitchen on Thanksgiving. Oh, for Pete's sake. You just don't understand. And you know what else? Next week we're going to the mountains. No, I didn't know that. You never tell me anything anymore. Well, Mother, we just decided last night. It's only for a few days, Mother Baxter. And I'm going to learn to ski. Mother and I are both going to take lessons. Well, enjoy them while you can, Dorothy. They grow up awfully fast. Now, Mother, oh, don't start that. Thing. Nothing sadder than an unemployed mother. I've got to do something about this. Be fun in the mountains. Mrs. B, I quit. Hazel. I'm giving my notice. I'm getting out of here. Oh, Hazel, well, you can't be serious. Hazel, what's the matter? Well, you just expect too much. All these people for dinner and I don't get any help. I was helping you, Hazel. I'm your right-hand man. <laughs> yes, I know you are, Harold. But what I need is grown-up help. I'm going nearly crazy out there. Hazel, I'll come out in the kitchen and help you. No, Missy. I need somebody that knows their way around the kitchen. Dorothy, let me handle this. Hazel, everything is going to be all right. All I know is that I need help. Well, I'll come out and give you a hand. We'll straighten everything out. I was trying to make some biscuits, you know, like you used to make. Well, let's go in the kitchen. I'll show you how. <laughs> you mean you got the recipe right in your head? Oh, when you've raised a family as I have, you'll remember it, too. <laughs> Hazel, Hazel, just a minute. Yeah, Mr. B? Hazel Burke, you're a fake. Oh, now, Mr. B, that's not a very nice thing to say. And you're pretty smart. Oh, yeah? Well, I just know I was swamped out there. Oh, George, didn't Mother brighten up? Why, she looked just the way she used to look. She oh, certainly I think did. it's a heck of a note. A woman her age having to help out in the kitchen, you should be up. Mr. Burkett, you just don't understand. I understand. You can't cook. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. He makes me so furious, I... Come on, it's Thanksgiving. Let's, let's try and be happy and have fun. Mm -hmm. Fun? He's going to do his card tricks later on. Won't that be a never-to-be-forgotten thrill? Phyllis, uh, can't you two get along at least for today? What's going on around here? The whole family's falling to pieces. Time to baste again, my dear. He'll say they three half hour. Heavens, it's like an oven in there. Well, don't burn yourself, my dear. Uh, don't worry, Herbert. I'll, I'll use these padded gloves. <laughs> Isn't it lucky that Phoebe left them in the kitchen? <laughs> oh. I somehow have the impression that you were basting the turkey not more than ten minutes ago. But I was. It takes twenty minutes to baste a turkey. <laughs> Why should it take so long? I, I, it's the size of the spoon, Herbert. Hazel said I must use a teaspoon. Now, if you'll hand it to me, I'll get started. <laughs> I didn't try, but Mr. B said my biscuits never turn out as good as yours. <laughs> George always did love my biscuits. And another thing he says I miss on is gravy. Oh? I've been hearing him rave about your gravy for years. So would you make that today, too? Oh, I'd be happy to. Now I'm going to watch now and just see what I can learn. <laughs> Hi. Can you stand the sidewalk, Superintendent? Oh, sure. I'll get the pen. Bob has started his card tricks, and I couldn't take it. 